What is up, everybody? It's your Reverse TV here today, and we're going to talk about the aftermath, the day after the Xbox Direct, where they showed off a lot of great games for Xbox. The main one that people are, are talking about is Indiana Jones game. It's probably the most anticipated game out of the lot they showed yesterday, but Sony fanboys have to realize that not every game is catered to them. They are just in complete just shock and awe mode that, you know, Xbox games has exclusives. And they're not going to be on that precious PlayStation that they love so much. So, Ryan McCaffrey made a tweet, which I actually agree with this tweet. But then again, I'm not going to give this guy too much credit because he also made another tweet talking about Hellblade not having a physical copy, which I'm going to talk about that, that topic in another video. But we're going to focus on the whole people are mad that this game is not third person. They want the they want the um uncharted template, they want the Tomb Raider template. When this is not that the people machine games, like he says, entire history and expertise is on making first party games, first person looking games. But if they had made any of Jones entirely in third person, the discourse would have been absolutely toxic today with Sony fanboys downvoting and comment comment bombing the trailer, calling it an uncharted clone. So I agree with that. I'm glad this game is not third person. Not everything needs to cater to the Sony audience. It's like, this is Uncharted. They can do what they want. This is Indiana Jones. I've, I trust Machine Games. They have a he, pretty much a trustworthy catalog with the Wolfenstein game. So, I believe in their vision for this game. So, I look forward to playing this game. And it's just the butterness from Sony fanboys. But, we're going to get into this one later with the comments people said about this. But, the next one. Apparently, when the trailer ended for Indiana Jones, people still couldn't believe this was an Xbox exclusive. Numb nuts were still thinking this is coming to PlayStation. I don't understand how you think this game is still coming to PlayStation. <laughs> it's kind of hilarious and sad at the same time. People think it's coming to PlayStation. But this is a game journalist website, Easy Allies, and somebody just couldn't believe this is Xbox exclusive. So let's play the clip right here. Wow. Yes. Sick. Game Pass. Sick. Game Pass. Wow, Game Pass. Oh, that's actually... Well, I wonder... What's the deal with I'm that? I'm curious because even if it were on PlayStation, they wouldn't say it in the Please. Xbox show. <sighs> what is wrong with these guys? This is not coming to PlayStation. It's an Xbox exclusive. It's just funny that if you were to see a PlayStation showcase... You know, because they just don't do those anymore. But if it were a PlayStation showcase, you wouldn't be wondering, hey, you know, these games are coming to Xbox as well. You wouldn't know that these exclusive games are PlayStation exclusive. But with Xbox, people still got to put some hope and copium in it, saying these games coming to PlayStation, where they're not coming to PlayStation. There's an Xbox exclusive made by an Xbox First Party Studio. Deal with it. It's easy. Buy an Xbox or buy a PC. It's that simple. It was like, wow, people just can't, they just can't face the fact that you need an Xbox to play some of these big games this year and going forward this generation. I'm just you surprised know, it's on it uh, Game Pass. Better. Right, but it's like, that's the, the weird thing. It's yeah. like with the license, would they put it on PlayStation or not? Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't think so. It's Toto. Let's see if there's one more, but I kind of doubt it. No, that's it. No, that, that, yeah, the one more was real. Maybe the mana. Yeah. That's what yeah. It's <clears throat> well put together. Take one. So I'll definitely be looking for an email post to confirm that it's confirm. not on PlayStation. Yeah. <laughs> we just need to confirm. There's one more little hope of conf confirmation that it's not on PlayStation. Really? Oh, man. These guys are down sad. They're down bad. Sony doesn't give their audience first party games, so now they want everybody else first party games to be on their platform. It's just hilarious. This is so sad and pathetic. The next one. Got a scoop for everyone. Breaking. Apparently everyone on Reset Era now suffers from motion sickness when playing in first person. Hopefully they pour any to PlayStation to help find a cure. Yeah. People are now saying that first person gives them motion sickness now. You know, it's just funny how everybody gets motion sickness now once Xbox has a big first party game. Big exclusive does first person. Now people just get motion sickness. And once again, like he states, if it had a PlayStation logo on it, we wouldn't hear anything about this nonsense. But because it's Xbox, people are making up any excuse possible. It's just sad. <laughs> and the next one, Indiana Jones, the ending clip of the trailer. There's no PlayStation in sight. So I don't know why people are so confused about this. Game Pass, Xbox Series X and S, and PC on Steam. 
no PlayStation is anywhere in this little um, picture right here. So, why are people so confused? I don't know. <laughs> PlayStation fanboys right now, like, you son of a bee. Oh, man. He does a good, good summary right here. Just buy an Xbox. Stop crying. Buy an Xbox. Stop being like that one clown saying, I'm still going to hope out to say, I think it's going to PlayStation. No, 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 no. Just buy an Xbox or play it on PC. It's that simple. It's just the audacity. It's like we see these future games coming out for these future Marvel games like Spider Man, Venom, the Venom spinoff. We see the X Men game in the future. We see the. All those other games that got leaked from the Sunday, we know those games are PlayStation exclusive. So we don't think we don't think they're coming to Xbox. But you know, these guys just can't believe that these games are just Xbox exclusive. They just can't just can't fathom it. They're just that entitled. <laughs> just buy an Xbox or PC. <laughs> it, it, it really is that simple. It was like an Xbox isn't even that expensive. I don't know why people are tripping about this. You had like three to four years at this point to buy an Xbox. Just do it. Like, geez. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's a lot easier than just keep begging and just crying about these games not coming to PlayStation. I, I think that would be an easier option, right? Let's see. This is a comment about the um no first person. This game being only a first person, but not third person. I think you've been on Twitter fanboy war sections too much to preempt this version of the future. Also, who cares what they do? If it's a great game, it's all that matters. All the shade Spider-Man 2 got from Xbox fanboys didn't stop people from enjoying it. Okay. But Tomb Raider Uncharted is literally a clone of Indiana Jones. It should have been third person in my opinion. No, it shouldn't have. Why does it need to be in third person? Sony fanboys, get over yourselves. Not, every, not everything needs to be catered to you guys. I know it's a hard reality, but not everything needs to be catered to the Sony audience. Uh. Hello, it being called an Uncharted clone regardless, and who cares about fanboy toxicity? It would have made it a far better gameplay experience. Why is that? Because you guys say so? Why do you think it needs to be third person? Maybe people are tired of third person games. Maybe people want to play this in first person. Like, what? what is this narrative that just must be in third person? Like, you're at Uncharted. If you want to play a game like this in third person, play Uncharted, which was eight years ago. So, have at it with that. <laughs> it's like, I just I just love how these people want to force their ideology on everybody else and say, hey, we got to play these games in third person. It was just trash. Like, no, you just don't play it then. Everybody else will enjoy it. Why you just sit in the corner and just, I don't know, glorify Uncharted. I don't know what you guys do, but you do that then. <laughs> It's toxic anyways. These people just like being miserable. Yeah, they. I'm just I'm starting to assume they just like being miserable because they think everything just needs to be third person to have the Sony template when it doesn't. Um, But Uncharted is just a ripoff of Indiana Jones and the best one is 3. You know, I keep hearing varying, uh, varying opinions about which Uncharted is the best one. People say 2 is the best one. People say 4 is the best one. The first time I've ever heard people say three, which once again, I don't care about Uncharted. I can't get into that franchise. All I really like was two. That just seemed really boring to me. Uh, Xbox guys can't even celebrate machine games with no IP without bringing Sony into this. No, Xbox guys are celebrating. Just Sony guys keep crying about it, not being a third person. <laughs> which most of these people don't got an Xbox anyway, so why do they care? I don't know. Uh, this person states that he's not even close to being wrong, but what kind of moron would accuse Indiana Jones of being an Uncharted clone? Just morons. Well, there's plenty of those out there, and they would definitely accuse this game of being Indiana Jones, of being a of being an Uncharted clone if this game was third person, so that's probably why everybody wanted to avoid that as well, too. So... And he's looking at this. Today, Riot went full Xbox, and we learned Xbox fans are completely terrified to have games compared to Sony games due to the quality goal between the two platforms. No, because we don't hear Sony guys keep crying about how everything just needs to be a copy of their game. But it's like, no, not everything needs to cater to you guys. 
It was like, they're so entitled. Everything must be third person. Everything must be a big budget action game. It was like, no, not everything needs to cater to the Sony fan base. So machine games make part of their video games development decisions based on what Sony fanboys would do. He is absolutely right. Funny thing is machine games took the first person route. PlayStation fans did it anyways. Yeah, they still managed to compare it to Uncharted because people are not bringing up Uncharted 4 from 8 years ago. Like, who in their right mind is thinking about Uncharted 4? But Sony fanboys are reaching to the deepest depths. They don't make any type of comparison to make um, to make uh, this new Indiana Jones game look bad and it's just pathetic. That is how desperate these guys are to make anything on Xbox look bad. They're still saying it's an Uncharted clone and making comparisons. Yeah, we just saw we just saw that yesterday. Do a little compare Uncharted for an eight year old game to Indiana Jones. Like really. Not only is Arcane entire history and expertise in making first party games, but they had made Blade and Charlie in third person. The discourse would be an absolute toss today with Sony fanboys down in the comment, bombing the trailer, calling it a God of War clone. Uh, so Sony fanboys even Tazi comments online have this much power of the creative direction of the AAA games once again it is nothing but Sony fanboys respond to this so they're obviously super invested into this once again I don't know why they're so heavily invested it's not coming to Playstation <laughs> so why are Sony fanboys so concerned about this this isn't going to be on Playstation it's only going to be on Xbox and PC so Unless you guys got PCs, or you're gonna call off the money for Xbox, this shouldn't concern you. Um, the fanboys are trying to clown it no matter what, but now a lot of non-fanboys are too. It's a weird choice. Uh, people, it's a lot of research. It's a lot of comments about this. I could be all day reading these comments. People are just so butthurt about this game. The fact that they made this first person not to care to so many fanboys. And they're still butthurt about it. So I'm going to include it right here. But definitely see your thoughts down below about this. This game being strictly an Xbox PC exclusive. And not being catered to the Sony audience. So definitely see your thoughts down below about this. Leave a like, like this video. And as always, thanks for watching. And peace.